I guess, so bear in mind, Edward is only two, two and a half mm. at this stage. So he, um, and also like he has GDD, so it's Global Development Delay. Um, he didn't have any words at that point. So we weren't able to have a conversation about this and what was going on. Right. Um, and I guess on his level, he only had um, – he, he's just living in a world of his feelings and, you know, and so I'm administering this stuff to him mm -hmm. that is making him shit his pants, is making him right. vomit constantly. Mummy, why are you hurting me? I have to physically hold him down to – that's never – yep. that was just not part of – our dynamic, I'd never physically restrained him at all. Um, he'd never, um, he'd never, um, be, we'd never been physical towards each other in that way before. And suddenly he started lashing out at me. He would sort of come to from his seizures and just start just laying into me. I remember my parents came over one day and they're like, oh my, they're like, what the fuck happened to you? You're covered in bruises. And I'm like, Edward, um, it was, he started to see me as sort of like the perpetrator. Like I was mm. making him have these seizures and I was giving him the stuff that was making him really, really ill. And it was making him really, really ill. Um, and that, that kind of broke something between us. Like it broke the trust, I guess. Um, and yeah, so... That was um, that was kind of like our foray into um, medicalization. Um, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and so I was like, right. So so what's 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 Plan B? Because th th it's not working. You know, I, I haven't just called. So they sent us away from ED, and then the the seizures just got worse. So I called another. Um, called a, another ambulance sort of 24 hours later we're back in ed and they're like you guys again and i'm like yeah it's like it's getting worse <laughs> like it's not it's you not going again. it's not going away and like they're like yeah but he just has epilepsy i'm like yeah but epilepsy shouldn't be like it shouldn't it shouldn't be getting progressively worse and escalating like this like this yeah. is just like if like I'm scared like uh, you know this is treading into with my very limited medical um, knowledge like this is treading towards SUDEP. Like once you start trending down this path, um, which is sudden death from, um, you know, status epilepticus, which is when you just go into a seizure and it doesn't stop and you die. It's what happened to Alex Renton. Um, so, yeah, by that point, um, and they're like, oh, we can try this other drug as well as what you're trying, we can try this other thing. And, like, I'm Googling all of the side effects, and I'm like, mm. fucking hell, like, it's just getting worse. Like, we've got, we've already got this child that has, is losing weight. Like, the, when I looked at the pictures of when we first arrived in New Zealand to, like, six months later, and, like, he arrived all chap and chubby and happy and cute, you know, how, like, little toddlers look, mm. to how he was now, and he was looking kind of gaunt and not, good like kind of wasty and um you know and then i was looking at these other ones where i'm like okay with psychosis from withdrawals you know all, all these other things that i definitely did not want to visit on my child you know depression i'm like he's two and a half like why do i need him to be depressed for at, at this young age like he's kind of got it hard enough like the last thing we need to do is like destabilize his mood um and I did have a friend who, over the course of that time, had been um, advocating for medicinal marijuana. Right. And um, I had, uh, he'd been really gently persistent, but I had rejected his polite advances um, because I felt like the, my perspective of weed was the fuck do I want to make him high for? Like, he, you know, he's. Dealing with enough right now, yeah. like I don't want to send him like hallucinating and yeah. getting, cr you know, and like then my and then he'll want some KFC and he'll be watching Stoner Flirts <laughs> and all that stuff. But I was just thinking, like, it's just going to make it worse. He's already feeling sick and he's already got all this stuff. Like, I don't want to make him high thinking street weed, not knowing anything at all about medicinal marijuana. So just uh, so so 
Uh, what I want to do is also cover off the timeline. Yeah. So are we still six months? So he, is he three so now? Is, is he? So no, he's like he's two and a half now. Yep. And um, we're heading towards three. Yep. Um, and d- during that period, your friend, your contact's been yeah. talking to you about medicinal yeah. cannabis, etc. Yeah. So Eric Kreis, um is actually a documentary filmmaker. He made Drug Lord, um, and he. Well, he, like he's spoken to Helen Clark about medicinal marijuana um, and he was sort of sending me like randomised clinical trials and all these other research um, documents that, that relating to medicinal marijuana. But all I was seeing was just marijuana. I yeah. wasn't actually paying any attention to anything he said. I was like, no, I don't want my son to get high. Like it's just I, – I just feel like everybody's offering me like all these drugs and I, I don't want him to have to take drugs. Right. Anyway, we're, we were there in hospital and – We'd been there for two weeks. Edward's still having seizures. It's things are not getting any better, and um, somehow Eric managed to procure some um, CBD for me. And I was at my wits' end, and nothing else was working. And he uh, he came to visit us in hospital. He left me with like a small sample. Edward had a seizure, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just going to try it." So he's in hospital when you gave him it for the first time. Yeah, right. He was in hospital. Obviously, when I gave doctors it to him didn't know this. Time. No, they didn't know. <laughs> um, so, but mind you, did you did you have any thought that if I really do fuck this up, at least I'm in a hospital? Exactly. Yeah, like okay. I was like, worst case scenario, it can't. Well, actually, the worst case scenario. I was living the worst case scenario. The yeah, worst true. case scenario was he's that. having seizures all the time. It's uncontrolled. It's mm. getting worse. Like, what could be worse than this? Like, I felt we were heading towards like an inevitable conclusion that like I was. Um, yeah, like things were heading in the worst possible direction anyway. Edward had a seizure. Um, I administered the CBD and, oil. And how and do you administer it? Oh, you administer it either sublingually or into the cheek receptors just yep. here. So, so it's just yeah. that oil on your finger you put it in his mouth? Yeah, okay. well, it's kind of like a paste. Okay. So it's like a solid kind of paste or you can use the oil drops, whatever's whatever is to hand. And, yeah, I kind of had like a quite a solid paste um, stuff to hand and I just put a blob in there, a pea-sized blob, and that was it. And these seizures had been going for well over, you know, we're minutes and minutes long and after 30 seconds it's like, it just stopped. So and you would, like, let me come out clear, you administered it while he was having a seizure? While and he was having stopped? a seizure and it stopped. So this seizure previously, let's say the one before had been like a 10 minute seizure. Yeah. Had another seizure, it's a few minutes in, you put it in and yeah. 30 seconds later the seizure stopped. Yeah. So within 30 seconds of me administering it, it just stopped. And I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck, there might be something in this. 